Hi there, Peter Nolette from Emptra. I'm the Product Manager for Sidebar Thrusters. And today I wanna to go through uh, the installation of our new SX external thruster with the use of the blue sleeve along its cables and connection to the control box that goes inside the boat. Um, this is one of the, kind of the trickier parts of it because uh, it's one of the only thrusters that we really don't make these connections to all of the thrusters, the solenoids are on the motor themselves and we're making those connections ahead of time. So on this, this blue sleeve is supplied longer than you will need for your installation. So it's gonna be necessary to trim it down. Uh, the reason for that is so that you have enough length um, relative to your installation. Um, so on this, the key is that you want to, the, the blue sleeve is meant to go over the hose barb on the thruster and you clamp there and then over the hose barb on this control box and clamp there. Uh, and that's creating your IP within the boat. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna slide this up over our cable. So you're gonna start with your thermal switch wiring that feeds in first, okay? Um, there are two there, just so you know, real, real quick. So that's the mechanical thermal switch, the longer one. That's your temp sensor wiring. All of these uh, external thrusters come set up to be either on off or proportional control. It is in the actual control box that determines whether it is an on-off thruster or a proportional thruster, okay? So all the thrusters are the same up to this point. The control box is different. So we're going to slide in that wiring here first. Okay, then followed by your, your A1A2, which are your power feed cables coming off the motor. And we're going to feed those into this blue sleeve, okay? And just kind of little bites at a time is how you do this. Just feed a little bit at a time. So now I got the wiring at the end. Now you can just kind of grab usually that lug there on the cable and pull it the rest of the way, like so. Okay. So now what you want to do is slide this up over the hose bar. Okay. And then this is the key part here. Sit down so you can see me again. Um, so here, what you want to do is we want to have a dimension of 100 millimeters from the end of the blue sleeve to the eye of that lug on your A2 cable. So what we do here is we're gonna measure backwards from the eye, 100 millimeters, okay? And we're gonna get a mark. Let's see. I'm gonna put a mark there. Okay, now all we're gonna do is pull this back. And we're gonna trim it at that mark, okay? Trim this. Okay. I'm going to push this back on. Okay. Lugs, and then these kind of pull, and then you slide this up over the hose barb. Okay, and then we're going to tighten the hose barb on this end. Okay, I'm going to slide our other hose barb down over it so it's in place. Okay, and now the fun part of our connections into our control box here. Okay. So going into the control box, we have already removed our two lock washers and our two nuts coming off of the two posts here marked A2 and A1. What we're going to do is now feed these into the box through the hose bar. Again, your thermal switch wiring first, followed by your a1 and A2, you can see the lugs are, are staggered so that they go through these barbs easier. If they were the same length, you'd probably have a problem with the barbs pinching. So that's why they're staggered and one is longer. Okay, so we pull those through. Okay, and then what you want to do is get that hose barb up over that. Okay, first thing we do is with a thermal switch wiring, we're going to plug that in to the box. in there and then you can tuck that 
down into the side. Okay, then we've got our A1, A2, so we put A1 on. Then you got a lock washer and a nut. Now these are high temp, or sorry, high amp loading connections. Uh, your A1, A2 power feed. So it's very important that these are secured properly and torqued, okay? Um, you have to have your lock washer in place. You have to have your nut in place, and they have to be secured to four newton meters, is what you wanna do on these. On your battery feed cables going in, your positive and negative here, those are, have to be torqued to 5.6 newton meters, okay? Uh, these are 10 mils, so you're just gonna take these up and then a torque on them and torque these to four newton meters. Pretty straightforward. Um, and then your battery cables in, you're gonna put your hose clamp up and on, tighten that in place and then this can be mounted in the boat in its position uh, and that's basically it.